Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today I will bust a couple of myths about killifish and keeping killifish. And I will give you a lot of good reasons why you should keep killers and why killers are for everyone. Hang on. Killifish are an interesting group of small to medium-sized fish that live in a diversity of biotopes across the globe. Even though these fish are among the most colorful of all freshwater fish, they've never really reached the same popularity in the aquarium hobby as, say, tetras barbs and cichlids. There are several reasons for that, most of which are myths that seems to be hard to get rid of. Let's take a look at some of those. Myth number one. The name Kelly must mean that these fish will kill all other fish in my tank. The truth is that the word killy is derived from the Dutch word kill, which means well, small stream or creek, and refers to the biotope in which some of the first killifish was found. In reality, these fish are neither more or less aggressive than most other aquarium fish. Myth number two. Killifish are short-lived and will die after a few months. This is not entirely correct either. Some killifish are relatively short-lived since they live in temporary ponds that dry out in the dry season. These fish are called annual killies. Nevertheless, in the aquarium, these fish might live a year or more. Most of the killifish in the trade are non-annual killifish, and they can live three to four years, just like most other small aquarium fish. Killifish are jumpers, however, and if you don't keep a tight-fitting lid on your tank, they will find a way out and live up to the myth anyway. Myth number three. Killifish should be kept in small bare tanks with just a yarn mop for decoration and preferably without light. Killifish can be kept that way and probably are by some breeders who focus more on production than pleasure. But in my opinion, these beautiful fish deserve better. Most of my killifish live in dense green underwater jungles with lots of mosses and floating plants to dampen the light and provide hiding places for small fry. I do use yarn mops occasionally when I want optimal breeding results. But if a group of plant spawning killifish are left in a planted tank, lots of fry will grow up in the tank.
Myth number four, killifish will only eat live food. Live food is essential if you want to breed killifish. But that can be said for just about any other aquarium fish. Most killifish will eat flake foods and other conventional food forms though. So if you just want to keep your killifish, you don't need live food for that. Myth number five. Killifish are only for experts. Nah, I don't think so. I'm no expert at all, but I enjoy keeping and breeding these fish. As I'm sure you will. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.